Okay, squad, here's the tea. So, like, y'all interrupted me playing Nintendo, so this better be fucking good. So, basically, I have been pretty open about the fact that um, I am friends with Lexi Godbout. I've been pretty open about that. Somebody messaged me today, and some people have been messaging me before. When she got Max and stuff, I did get a couple messages like, a little bit after she got Max saying, like, oh, you know, she got him from a backyard breeder, and how can you support her, and stuff like that, and, like, whatever, and I'm like, I, I didn't even respond to those, but the one that I got today is just outrageous. Um, you don't know what that dog is. You don't. So what does that mean? You take a fucking guess. Like, like, I've seen dogs that look like, literally like nothing. Like, you have no idea. Like, I don't know where the, I don't know what dog got it. I don't know what the breed of dog is. Do you, do you, do you want this? Because you're being insane. So, I've seen dogs that are just, they look like nothing. Like, no breed standard at all that I've ever seen in my life. This dog looks like a Rottweiler. Like, oh my god. That dog looks like a Rottweiler. Like, uh, how about if some people are like so bothered that she's calling her dog a Rottweiler, which by the way, she's never said he's a purebred Rottweiler, so shut the fuck up. But second of all, if y'all are so bothered, pay for, pay, pay for a DNA test. Then we'll fucking find out. How about that? Pay for, pay for a DNA test. If you're so bothered and you want to know and you want to make guesses and complain, and you fucking pay for it. Y'all, I will, I will, I will literally, I, you know, y'all want to pay, pay her to do a DNA test on her dog? I am sure that she will give you her fucking PayPal, like, right fucking now. Like, she will do it. I'm sure she would. You know why? Because she cares about the people who watch her and about their opinions. But guess what? She doesn't care enough to fucking, like, not work this dog just because people are, like, so stupid and think, like, oh, it's a mix so. It's a bad dog, whatever. Like, oh my god. You know, how about instead of worrying about that and, like, that mislabeling of saying that it's a Rottweiler mix, which it is, probably, I would I would bet my, I don't know, my Crocs. I bet my Crocs on that. How about instead of fucking going after her for that shit, how about we, uh, I don't know, stop people from breeding designer breeds and then people say oh my doodle yeah he's a poodle like no he's fucking not get the fuck out of my face you know what a poodle looks like poodle, poodle looks like that this is what a poodle looks like he's an asshole but this is what a poodle looks like so how about instead like if you know what your dog is then call your dog what you want but if you don't and you say a husky mix a rottweiler mix a poodle mix Great. How about instead of dealing with with this shit, instead of pretending like this is the biggest deal that we could, you know, we gotta solve this problem. This problem is a huge problem. We gotta solve that. How about instead of that, we solve the problem with the people who are actually mislabeling their dogs. Like how about instead of instead of yelling at this this chick, this girl who 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 can afford to rescue a dog? She let's let's just remember that is that she got this dog from a shelter, and she got this dog and 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 I I don't see I don't like using the word rescue because if unless you found the dog on the street then I don't really believe it's like full rescuing or whatever. But she she saved this dog from a shelter. Okay, I don't know if this is a kill shelter or not, but life in a shelter is not is not good for a dog. She saved this dog from a shelter. And I'm sure somebody else would have picked him up. He's beautiful. But, you know, she, she, got, she gave this dog a job. This dog obviously wants a job. This dog is obviously happy doing his job. At least for now, he's a puppy. We don't know. But he's happy right now. And he has a great handler. And they are educated. And obviously they have the money to support him. And they are doing well that he has other dogs around him to, like, help him with socialization. He's in a great spot. 
So, the fact that he's being called a Rottweiler does not really show anything about Lexi's ability to care for dogs, about Lexi's ability to train dogs, about any of her education. It doesn't show that. Because she calls him a Rottweiler mix, and that's what he fucking looks like. That's, that's what he looks like. I don't understand. So, I just... He's... Right now, he looks like a Rottweiler mix. If you are so bothered that you think that he can't be called Rottweiler, shouldn't be called Rottweiler, she should be calling him exactly what he is, and you need to know, like, oh, he's a Rottweiler husky mix or something, and you care that much about it, then you send her PayPal for a DNA test for this fucking dog. You do it. You do it. I... I'm I'm sure that she would make a great fucking video about it and make a hell of money on it. So I I would love that. Go help out my friend. Lexi got about you she, she there's her at. I mean she send her PayPal. She she would love that, I'm sure. She she'd love that. <laughs> so if you care that much, then you go right ahead. You put your money where your mouth is, beach. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Now, if y'all could please stop the fucking draw, I'm gonna get back to my brownie and my fucking Nintendogs game because oh, Carter's satisfied. I didn't even get to watch the dog, y'all. He walked without me. <laughs> sure that she would make great.